zero two. Side out. We saw Thompson kind of step across in the middle with a backhand right there. Welsh has come along this zero, year. Zero, She's one. playing really well on the Senior Pro Tour. Obviously, we saw her with Farius the other night in the Pro Split Age. Some amazing play. Some of the highlights of the game. Second actually. server. Nice little angle created by her right there. Made it look like she was going to go hard and zero, then slowed the ball two. down. seeing a different uh, different pace to the game from Paulson and Wilhelm compared to when they, they One, played zero, against two. McGregor and Dawson earlier on. Oh, sorry. Uh, Hamner and LaCour earlier on. I think for a moment Paulson thought that was going out. She relaxed and then came back in, but they still got the point. 2-0-2. Two, Wilhelm serves. Point. As we said before, it's sort of later in the evening. It's about 6.20 almost. Temperatures dropped quite a bit compared to the rain Three, and zero, the extra two. humidity. So without that, it's uh, much more bearable. Couple of unforced errors by Timeout's been called by Thompson the receiving right team. There. The score is good four, time for a timeout. Zero two. You have up to one minute. So a timeout's been called. First one of the game. We'll see if it changes things. We'll be back soon. The 2021 Minto U.S. Open Pickleball Championships, powered by Margaritaville, is sponsored by Dick's. Dick's Sporting Goods. Every season starts at Dick's Sporting Goods. By Zing Zang. Zing Zang, America's favorite Bloody Mary mix. By Franklin and Franklin X40, the official ball of the U.S. Open Pickleball Championships. Skechers, Skechers Arch Fit Footwear, featuring podiatrist certified arch support. And by Highlands, Highlands Leg Cramps, stop your cramp, not your game. And we're back, we got the uh is that fan even on, or is she just holding it up there? Yeah, yeah, I wish I had her helping out to dry the court. You know, we only had two fans out there. So after our first time out in the game, there was a quick four-point run. Seconds. Ladies, we'll you have one time out remaining, you have two time out remaining. Yeah, I, uh, yes, you are the correct I feel server. like Wilhelm and Paulson are, are going zero, to target two. Thompson here a little bit. She's made a couple of unforced errors. I'm going to put the pressure on her. Yeah, very good Point. ball movement by Will by Wilhelm. Sort of go through the middle, then go back behind. There it is. Well, sure, and then create that angle once she brought, brought Thompson toward the middle of the court. Five zero two. She looks Side to out. Drive that, but sorry, I was distracted by the ball. The, the two birds just that fell out. Of, zero yeah. Two birds one. fell out of the uh, the top of the ceiling here. We are outdoors. Second server. <laughs> well, Wilhelm looked like she was protecting her face right there, but she did right, but did a very good job of keeping that paddle two. out in front. Oh, excellent angle Side by Paulson. Yeah, well, sure. Went to go for another around the post like she did the other night, but a little bit without the side of her reach. Five zero one. So once again, a chance to put more points on the board out to a strong five zero lead. Oh, it's a very good second serve. Very good dink from from Thompson. Took that ball nice and early. Paulson was looking for a ball through the middle that she could speed up and five zero two. Thompson caught her off balance. 
Side out. It's called long. Zero five one. Second server. Wilhelm yells, bounce it. It's a little tip. A lot of people say, don't say out. Say bounce it Zero, five, it two. Yeah, I typically say bounce it myself. A um, couple of words you try to avoid on the court is no. Side out. Out. And here we are. They've been able to hold it. Five, zero, to one. Five. Oh, I'll recall again, the score. Sorry. Uh-oh. See what she's going for. Five, zero, she, was, she was picking out one of the bird feathers from the birds that fell down oh, a little right. while ago. Second server. Good change of direction by Thompson. Wilhelm was coming forward, shading her backhand a little bit. Five zero two. Score still five zero. Side out. Wilhelm wants that one back. Yeah. Paulson did a good good job hitting that uh, that drop Zero down five, below one. the knees. Wilhelm went into close and just got a little off balance. Who's out? Did you did you call it out? Oh, I'm sorry. Point. Not for me to overturn it. It's too close. So. You saw it as good? Questioning. All right, second server. So Thompson called it Zero, out. Five, two. Paulson questioned it. The referee did not see it. Walsh actually overturned her partner right there and said the ball was in. So that's more of the sportsmanship that we talked about earlier in the day. It's a great thing to see. Five, so zero, one. Again at fives again. Wilhelm serves to Wilshire. Second server. It's a very good transition by by Paulson and good timing of the uh, of the offensive lob. Five zero two. Side nice out. Interchange. Yeah, it's very good. Ball movement. They're, they're starting to starting to move the ball around a, a little bit more. Walsh and Thompson need to do Zero, that five, one. more. Potentially go back behind Paulson on that backhand side. And now trying to get some points on the board. Football. Point. So the per first point of the game. Result of a foot point. Foot one point. five one. Point because of a foot fault. Thought Paulson potentially had uh, was going to go around the post. That's what but I thought. It was pretty far out there, but she kind of maybe was off balance and decided to try a lob. Yeah, which which also isn't a bad idea when when you pull off the off the court if if that ball Two, five, isn't quite wide enough to go around the post. Throwing that lob up gives you time to get back into the court. Unfortunately, it just wasn't deep enough. Oh, very nice angle. Yeah, Second yeah. server. Thompson was looking to close to close the middle. Paulson recognized it early enough that she could change the direction of the ball. Two, five, Kept two. it nice and soft and low. With two on the board, Thompson serves. Point. Went for the same shot again, but overreached. So we've gone from 3-5-2 to 3-5. See if they can continue to keep this momentum going.
point. Point. Best point of the game so far. Yeah, excellent point. <clears throat> Wind's starting to pick up a little bit now. You can hear it in our microphones just a little bit. Yes, you are. Thompson's Four, five, two. If she's the right server. Point. So that's one of those balls. Timeout's been called by Wilhelm the receiving team. Scores the court. five, five, two. Probably not you have up the to best one minute. choice to try to speed a ball up through the middle because it makes it very difficult for you to get back in. And at tie of 5-5, we take a timeout. The 2021 Minto U.S. Open Pickleball Championships powered by Margaritaville is sponsored by Minto. Latitude, Margaritaville and Minto. Change your latitude to the active adult paradise of Latitude Margaritaville. Naples, Marco Island and the Everglades, Florida's Paradise Coast. By Margaritaville, hotels and resorts. Check in and chill out at margaritavilleresorts.com. And Pickleball Central, the Pickleball Superstore. And we're back with another view from the corner up high of Zingzang Championship Court there. As you can see, the sun is starting to set, which is that, that glow beyond the side of the awning. People are in attendance. You have the VIP lounge all around, if you've seen before, that's spread further out to have fewer people here due to COVID. And the game continues. Point. Thompson and Welsh are starting to feel a little bit more comfortable. Doing a better job moving the ball around. Six, five, two. It seems a bit that they're being more aggressive as well. I mean, definitely on the last few points, uh, Welsher in particular, as well as Thompson, have been heating it up. Yeah, they've, they've gone into the body of Wilhelm a couple of times. 7-5-2. So we had a five-point run. Now we've had a seven-point run. Eight-point run. Eight five two. Point. Well, sure, like that. Thompson's doing a better job anticipating, <clears throat> but definitely, uh, definitely more aggressive. Nine play. five two. Side out. So Wilhelm and Five, nine, discussing. One. And what once was a five nothing lead Second has server. turned into being down with Welsher and Thompson up nine. Five nine two. Oh, she wants that one back. Big scream let out there. Yeah, she got excited, took a big back swing. Six nine two. Cross court dig section, but then going to all four players. Point. Uh, previously, they were looks like they were going after Thompson quite a bit, but that seems to have shifted some. Yeah, it's it's more of seven a, nine uh, two. As it, as the game's progressed, they're they're definitely targeting the backhand on that on that right side.
big overhead. Uh. Point. Yeah, we'll see. Excellent offensive lob from Paulson. Walsha stayed in the point, but ultimately point. Thompson was just Eight, too nine, far two. back off the court to get back for him. Ball's called long. Side out. It's a significant side out. There's a chance with two nine, serves eight, to one. try to get these two points to close it out. Oh. Yeah, very good serve. angle. That's a very good angle. Recognize that ball that was high into a backhand early. 982. Oh. Point. Thread the needle. Wilhelm reached for it, but it was almost like, should I try this? Eh. Yeah, it was it was one of those one of those balls that was just in the perfect spot. Walsh had recognized that it was going to be a short return, something that was going to sit up. And here we are serving for game point. Point. Game. So game number Score one goes 11, to Welsher eight. Thompson, 11-8. Yeah, Change ends, please. But don't consider it done yet, because we've seen... Yeah, we'll see, see right here that uh, Thompson's creating very good angles back behind Walsh, uh, Wilhelm to, uh, to the backhand. Brought it back into the body. Point. Game. So now we're going to go hear from Drew with another special guest from the Margaritaville License to Chill Lounge. All right, Rusty, thank you so much. You know, I love meeting and chatting with people who just eat, sleep, breathe, and live this game of pickleball. I'm with one of those guys right now, Scott Golden. Scott, you're about to play here in this next match on Zing Zang Championship Court, but how much of a thrill is it to be here and to be competing at the highest level? Oh, it's awesome, man. This is an experience like nothing else you've ever seen. And I think this atmosphere is what you look forward to. This is the biggest tournament in pickleball. And I'm excited to get out here on the court after these ladies finish up and uh, just excited to be here. Your pickleball story is like so many. You kind of got into it accidentally and then you said, hmm, I think I can do this. And then you never looked back, did you? Yeah, I never looked back. I started playing in the end of 2016 and fell in love with it. And man, it's been an awesome uh, journey, awesome ride, and looking forward to the future. The sport's just uh, taking off. Watching the seniors play right now, you're always learning two different parts of this game. What part of your game right now are you trying to fine tune? Oh uh, man, uh, constantly trying to evolve, trying to find ways to be more consistent, more steady. Uh, it's not just about you on the court, it's about you and your partner. So finding ways to balance your, your game. You know, I'm pretty aggressive and uh, just trying to balance it out. Quickly, where do we find you on Facebook too, right? Uh, Golden Boy Pickleball. Golden Boy Pickleball. Scott Golden, thank you so much. Rusty, take it away. And thank you, Drew. And we are back to watch seconds. game number two. To see these women compete for the bronze medal. Game two, the women's time in. Pro. Zero, zero, two. Side out. So if you're just joining us, thank you. Uh, game number one started out with a 5 nothing lead, but then Welsher and Thompson were able to turn it around. Yeah, they definitely zero, zero, became one. more comfortable after they got a couple of points under their belt and, and went on that nice nine-point run. So we'll see if between games, Wilhelm and Paulson come up with an alternate plan. Point. So this has been a bit of a historic day. It was supposed to be just the senior women. One, but zero, due to the one. rain, we saw senior men as well as senior women. I believe we don't have the final numbers, but well over 700 matches all in one day. I think this will be a record day, not just for the U.S. Open, but for the whole sport. Yeah, I Second mean, and it, and it wasn't just the, the senior men carrying over from yesterday. It was any draw that didn't start by 10.30 yesterday got yeah. played today. Point. So 
definitely a very busy day, and there's definitely going to be two more zero, matches two. going on later into tonight. Point. It's like Paulson and, and Wilhelm are, are playing just a little flat. I've been watching Paulson and she's not doing a whole lot, of, whole lot of movement while she's up at the kitchen there. Point. Might be pressing a little bit. Wilhelm frustrated with that ball that she ended up side. The two of them are having some conversation while trying to figure out a little bit, switch things around. Again, that's got to be frustrating. You start out with a strong four, zero, five, two. nothing lead, and then all of a sudden you find yourself in game number two, down four. Yeah, sometimes it, it can be difficult to go out to that that Point. big lead early on. You, Timeout's been you called come by out the receiving really team. The score is playing five, really well, zero, and then you, you back off a you little bit. Two, one so minute. here they are on the opposite side, themselves down zero, uh, calling a timeout, and we'll see if they can change their game. The 2021 Minto U.S. Open Pickleball Championships powered by Margaritaville is sponsored by Minto. Latitude, Margaritaville and Minto. Change your latitude to the active adult paradise of Latitude Margaritaville. Naples, Marco Island and the Everglades, Florida's Paradise Coast. By Margaritaville, hotels and resorts. Check in and chill out at margaritavilleresorts.com. And Pickleball Central, the Pickleball Superstore. And we're back once again at the amazing Open Air Arena, which here at the Minto U.S. Open Pickleball Championships, powered by Margaritaville, is called the Zigzag Championship Court. I think these guys are the first ones one to kind of create remaining. that. You have two timeouts remaining. Time in. Timeout had recently been called five, by zero, two. and Paulson, who are down 0-5, and seeing if they can turn it around. Side out. Definitely, they were able to break the momentum. Yeah, it was a, it was a good, Zero, good five, call one. on the timeout right there. Second server. Very good ball movement right there by Thompson. Able to get the ball behind Will. Zero, five, two. Side out. Well, she wanted to drive it, but uh, Thompson took the quick backhand. Five zero one. Successful. Wilhelm catches that lob. Second server. Ball <coughs> runs off court here. Take a look there. Yeah, Wilhelm did a, did a very good job of speeding that Second ball server. up right into Thompson's body. Five zero two. Forcing the pop up. Yes, when Side you talk out. about forcing the pop up, often it's the shot before the put away sequence that's the one that's really critical. Yeah, a lot of the times when, when we go to speed up a ball, you've, you've got to treat it as a one-two punch. If you speed up that ball and you're just anticipating Zero, five, to win, win the point off of that, that speed up, um, you'll get caught when that, that ball comes back. So if you, you treat it as the one-two, then you're using the speed up ball as the setup to the finish. Oh, oh. a little help from the net. Yeah, we hear about plays. You know, you, your football, you have your classic picture of the squares and the triangles or whatever, the circles and how it moves. But you can have the same kinds of sequences. Teams can think, OK, one, five, I'm going to do this. And then after I do that, you'll do this. You, you, you do see that quite more often with, uh, with, the, with the pro plays. Um, there are set plays. There are, if I get a ball from this position, this is the ball that I'm going to hit, and this is what my partner's looking to do. Oh. Second I server. I thought that was in, but it was called out. And definitely, you want to be thinking about the purpose for the ball you're hitting rather than just hitting. And of course, it's always better just to keep it in play. Yes. 
but it, when Correct. you can, don't hit mindless. One, five, well, majority of the time, we want to we want to try to avoid playing catch. Uh, it's something that's ingrained into oh, our there you go. body. <laughs> Paulson comes flying across the court. I think she got both feet off the air. She took that one. She was off the ground, jumping the kitchen, trying to avoid hitting the net post. It almost looked like she might have rolled her ankle a teeny bit coming down, but two, she five, looks two. like she's okay. Point. With oh, two on the board. Time now been three. Called by the receiving yep. team. The score is Receivers three, are saying, five, two. I don't like you, you climbing that ladder. Minute. I'm going to try to stop what you're doing. So we're going to another break. Thank you again for all of our sponsors. Let's hear from them. The 2021 Mento U.S. Open Pickleball Championships powered by Margaritaville is sponsored by Gamma. Gamma Pickleball, the official grip of the U.S. Open Pickleball Championships. Deco Turf. Deco Turf, the official pickleball court surface of the U.S. Open Pickleball Championships. By I Love Pickles. Ilovepickles.org, a place to celebrate all things pickled. And by Franklin, the official bag of the U.S. Open Pickleball Championships. And welcome back. Once again, you see that view as the sun continues to set. People here are watching to see if we can go to game three. But right now, we are in the middle of game number two. We've had some strategic timeouts, which have stopped momentum. The three, serve five, is going to be coming from Wilhelm as they try to get more points on the board. Point. Got it. Starting to get some unforced errors creeping into uh, the game of Walsher and Thompson. Four, five, two. It was an excellent offensive lob by Paulson. And especially an offensive lob when it's taken out of the air, like she did right there. Very difficult to defend when done correctly. Five, five, two. Looking for a ball that we're able to get extended on. We can reach on, continue the motion, pushing it up and over. Point. Oh, now we've got a six-point run on the way six, coming five, back. Two. It's a big deal. Elsher well, heats it up. Side out. It's a big side out for them, right then. Yeah, you don't like to five, lose six, that one. lead. Second server. Five, six, two. I'm getting blinded by the sun in the in the booth. It's just low enough that it's peeking through. Thompson drops. All four at the net. Oh. Side out. A little high, and Wilhelm puts it away there. Yeah, on a on a ball that gets behind you, like six, uh, five, like one. the one Walsh had tried to hit cross court there. It's very hard to keep the ball, ball down. Better off looking a little bit Point. more middle. Another unforced error. Walsh are trying to Seven, calm five, herself one. down. Really looking to uh, stay a little bit more conservative with the angles for until she gets back comfortable. Point. 8-5-1. Second server. Big two-hand finish by Walsh. Eight five two. Back 
Yeah, it's Side a better out. angle. She didn't try to force it. She didn't try to do too much. Allowing the paddle, the angle of the hand, the angle of the paddle to do majority of the work. Just a small movement behind. You try to force the angle, you have a tendency to flick the wrist. Five, eight, one. Number five, eight, one. The tables have turned. Point. Now we're back within two. Six, eight, one. Walsh are going into the body of Paulson. Seven, eight, Handcuffed one. her on that last ball. Point. Goes long, and now we're tied up, Chad. So if we look at game number one, Wilhelm and Paulson had eight. So we'll see if Welsher and Thompson end up duplicating the score and claiming eight, this eight, bronze one. medal. Second server. Eight, eight, two. Side out. Thompson got in trouble there, attacking that ball cross court. Wilhelm was sitting on the forehand. Didn't have to do much to get that ball down and behind Walsha. Second server. Eight eight two. Very point. nice reset by Paulson in the middle of that point. They claim one more point on the board for their chance. Nine eight two to force this to three games. Side out. So again, that's where we see that ball get a little too eight, close nine, to one. the body. We try to go for too much and. Take that ball for wide cross court. Point. Nine nine one. Here we are, tied up again. Nine nine. Still have an opportunity. 10 9 1. Right now to claim that medal. Second server. Moving on to second server. 10 9 2. Thompson. Side out. It's a big side out. Yeah. Maybe uh, nine ten one. Close Thompson would have stayed in in that dink rally just a little bit longer. She chose to speed a ball up that was behind her. Second server. That was a good comeback right there. It's very easy to nine, ten, to, to get caught up in the point before, but quickly. Shut that down, force the second serve. 
And there it is again. Side out. Two in a row. And she's back, bringing the serve to her team. Or Eva Wilshire. 10 9 her one. Chance. Nice. And she says Point. yes. Game match. I want this. 11 8, 11 and the bronze 9. medal is going to be going to Welsher and Thompson. With score 11 8 and 11 9 in two games straight. Yeah, Welsher hit a, an excellent thud shot drop right here. Followed it up quickly and then took advantage of that floating ball. Again, Point. that 1 2 Game count, match. 1 2 attack. 11, Sealing 8, 11, the deal. And Closing the match at 11 9. And we are back, finishing up our day as the sun is setting in beautiful Naples, Florida, where Drew is out awarding and presenting the bronze medals to our female senior women pro double champions. All right, thank you, thank so, you much, so much, Rusty, Rusty here with, here the, with bronze the bronze medalists. Eva Welsher, Linda Thompson, big round of applause for these ladies. Ask you guys a few questions. Big time match. You guys performed awesome, winning. What was the key behind the success today? Ooh, me. Um, <laughs> we just had to have like a good patient strategy, try to keep the ball at their feet and move our feet and really try to end the points. You had an amazing shot the other day. We caught your reaction on camera, an amazing ATP. Tell us a little story behind that one. Um, well, I was practicing with my friend, uh, Corey and Jeff, and um, I could not do an ATP for the life of me. And we practiced and we practiced, and I was having all these weird things. And so finally, um, so when I came here and I did it, I was actually thinking of my friends at home because I was like, I did it, I did it. And uh, so I was very excited. Well, congratulations, ladies. A check is coming your way for $1,000. The bronze medals presented by Margaritaville. Brad Schwabel presenting the medals and the check for $1,000. Ava Welsher, Linda Thompson, special moment here, bronze medal, women's senior pro doubles.